cursed, you know. Bloody Bracchus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there. I has got a soul in the jar. In jar. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, What's worse, having your figure in a jar or your fucking soul in a jar? I think <laughs> the soul that's, is worse. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna put your soul in a jar and come on it. <laughs> I mean, uh, never mind. As long as what? <laughs> what were you, what could you possibly be about to say? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Were you about to make a case for this soul cum jar? No, I was just gonna say that sounds romantic. What? When you say it, as long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. <laughs> Wait, don't you? I'm, I'm reading the lore. I'm don't reading read the lore. That. There's no way. What? That you're somehow. What? You're saying you're cool if I put your soul in a jar and cream on it? <laughs> Why did you have to phrase it like that? Because that's what you're saying, essentially. I mean, if I, for whatever reason, was it just a soul and I was in a jar, I don't know. Glaze the hell out that jar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, it's like, I don't know, it's like a romantic gesture. Mr. Like, what Ethel. else are you going to do with a fucking soul? Try to bring the other person back through trans human transmutation. Maybe that's the way you bring me back. By fucking glazing up your your essence. Yeah. I mean, it's worth a shot. <laughs> I mean, I can't say we didn't try. <laughs> Mr. Ethel, there's too much cum. Mr. Ethel, I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>